Welcome back to the Evil Within 2. Let's head into the Marrow, the experimental wing section of it, and see if we can take out the enemies and restore power to help Sykes escape, and hopefully eventually help us escape. I don't know what I'm expecting to find here, but experimental wing doesn't exactly make me feel confident that it's going to be a pleasant place. Looks abandoned. Spooky. Just gotta take care of whatever's down here and get the power back on. There's a lot of bodies. <sighs> Hear an enemy through there. I guess I gotta get in there through the vent. Saw me? Ooh, saw me too, which is actually good. That one's got an axe too. Gotcha. So let's do a five, a three, and a two. Okay. Looks like that's open. Oh. Let's open up the doors, I think. Uh oh. I can't hide behind any of these things. Can I hide behind this? No. Shit. Okay, how about this? Here we go. Yes, let me move! Oh shit. Ah! 
Oh, there's a bunch of them. Oh, cool. I just got this one. Oh, they fall apart on their own. Oh, it's still more fun to hit them yourself. This is it then. Better call Sykes. Hmm? Oh, I thought there's no answer. Thanks, man. Wouldn't have been able to do it without you. Are you sure this is gonna work? No, but staying in here isn't gonna do me any good. Anything is worth a try at this point. Okay, it's all set. When you bring Lily back here, there's a timer right here. Turn it a quarter rotation, and then you just press this button. It'll give you 60 seconds to climb into the pod. You both should be able to fit in it together. I don't know, Sykes. I got a bad feeling about this. Look, man, I know what I'm doing, okay? Maybe you should hold off on this. Help me find Lily, and then we can all find another way out of here. I feel for you, man. I really do. But I'm doing the best thing I can do for you by getting this pod operational. Okay. If you say so. Wish me luck, Sebastian. Good luck. Thanks, man. I left you something in there for helping me. I'm not gonna need it where I'm going. See you on the other side, Sebastian. Damn, I think it worked. He's gone. I wonder if it worked. chance of success. I'm not gonna risk Lily's life like that. Hope Sykes is out in the real world. One in four chance. Maybe he'll get lucky. Christ, Sykes, maybe uh, you should have listened to this first. 25% chance, so there's a one in four chance that they're out and fine, and there's a three in four chance that they're in some deeper ring of hell. Sawed off. I'm gonna guess better damage, but obviously lower accuracy. Twice the barrels, twice the buckshot, twice the damage. Light and sturdy, but needs to be reloaded more often. Shotgun clip capacity upgrades do not apply to this weapon. Huh. That actually doesn't sound good. I mean, it does more damage, I guess, 
per shot? I'm, I'm assuming you shoot both the barrels at the same time. Like, per click of the button you do more damage, but per single round of shotgun shells it sounds like you do the same damage. And I'm sure it's inaccurate and, you know, you have to reload it all the time. That actually doesn't sound good. Well, let me take a look at it at least. I mean, I want to fire it just to test it out, but, like, ammo is too precious for that. You can see it's definitely quite inaccurate, which is fine. I don't use the shotgun from very far away. But yeah, I don't see myself using this. get out of here. Now, was the shotgun what Sykes left, or did he... I felt like he meant he left something back at the safe house for me. But maybe the shotgun was it. Okay, I think the shotgun was it. I don't see anything. Okay. Alright. Back out into hell. So, let's continue to explore. Where have we been? Started out here, I went over there. Evidently, I haven't been there. I think I've just been, like, here. Roughly. Sniper rifle ammo pouch. Assault rifle ammo pouch. Gunpowder. And there's, of course, where we have to go. So let's just go around to unexplored areas. Oh, Christ. Uh-oh, two of them saw me. Also, I can't hide behind there. Can't hide behind there either. Uh oh. Uh. Oof. Please stop flaming. Please stop flaming. Yes. Oh yeah. Didn't mean to do that. Where's the other one? There were three of them, right? I killed one. Where's the second? Huh. Counted. from 11 to 14. Not that I'm ever going to have that much ammo. I've got 650 weapon parts. Christ, it's a flamer. Oh, man. 
I do not want to deal with another one of those now that I've got enough. Now that I've got the tanks I needed. But for completionist's sake, I'm gonna take them off. I just... God, I really don't have that much ammo. Got a decent amount of shotgun, but... Like, no sniper, one round of assault. Burning them seems a particularly stupid thing to do. I have the ammo to take them on, but I'm pretty sure after taking them on, I would have very little left. Should I try the old sneak? Where the hell did they go? Oh, oh shit. You will be cleansed. You cannot escape us. Okay. Like, I know this isn't going to work, but I'm going to try stealth again. I bet you can't climb over this box. I'm I sorry, knew it. Father. I lost him. I thought Defiance would have saved me. I'm kind of surprised. There we go. Made back the progress I lost and just saved it. Before I go back out, though, I think there's a note here that I. Yeah. Message from Sykes. His message seems to have been scribbled hastily in a scrap of paper. Thanks for the help, and here's Sebastian. You're a solid dude. I wish you the best of luck. If you manage to make it out of here, look me up. I owe you a drink in the real world. Your pal, Sykes. I hope you made it out, Sykes. All right, let's go a different way. Instead of going through the back alley, let's go through the front. Which... is where <laughs> everything's destroyed. I think it's this way. Yep. I remember there's a... There's a flaming dude somewhere over here. Oh, wow. Three boomers. Oh, they shouldn't see me. Stealth is such bullshit with them. Alright. Not playing around anymore. Looks like it's just sparking off the tank, so I don't think shooting the tank does anything. 
I'm a little bit scared. I don't know if I can kill him with five more shotgun shells. We got some ammo here? No, that's not ammo. Well, I could use these. to get a sneak attack in, even though it never works almost. Uh-oh. Don't catch the car on fire. Uh-oh. It might explode. No, it's fine. I think they saw me or heard me. rip all my ammo. No pistol ammo, five shotgun shots. Whew. Fuel tank, yay. Alright, well, this is where I need to go to, uh, well, for the main quest. Let's explore around, now that the area should be safe. So we got boomers over there, let's not go there just yet. Assault rifle ammo pouch, 120 rounds, I doubt I'm ever gonna get that many. I found, like, no ammo for it. Yes, Sebastian, climb over the, the charred bodies. Ooh, I saw something. Oh, it's just a flash reflection of the light. Okay, let's go inside. The hotel is clear, Hoffman. Are you done with your tweaks? The hotel is clear. You, you just step foot inside of it, Sebastian. There could be monsters upstairs in every single room. Ready as I'll ever be. Okay, I'm sending you the coordinates. Well, here it is. What is it? It's a portable field stabilizer. O'Neill must have been working on it before Theodore changed him. It creates a small area of stabilization that should keep the fire away. How small? Its circumference is about as big as a safe house. Big enough to protect me. Good. 
How's it work? That's the tough part. It's a prototype, so it's a little temperamental. I have to operate it. Last thing you want is for it to go on the fritz while you're in a wall of flame. I can't let you do that. It's too dangerous. So is staying here if you can't get inside. Besides, I'm sick of hiding. The only way we're going to get through this is if we work together. It's the only way to save Lily. And what if you need emergency psychoanalysis? Who's going to help you then? You know just what to say to convince me, Hoffman. Of course I do. I'm the team psychologist. That you are. You might want to prepare for this. Let me know when you're ready to go. Hoffman is definitely going to die. Ooh. Goodies. Yeah, this sounds like the beginning of the last quest, basically. The beginning of the end game is what it sounds like. So I'm definitely not doing this yet, just yet. Hoffman's journal, which I will read in front of her. The handwriting in this journal is hard to decipher, but with effort, you managed to read the most recent entry. Ah, uh, is that a joke because she's a doctor? Sort of. Doctors have bad handwriting. Liam's transformation was horrifying, yet fascinating. It went far beyond neuro-linguistic programming. Theodore's words did more than influence Liam. They physically transformed him. No wonder Theodore wants control over STEM. It is amplified his already formidable influential prowess. The things he could do in here. Sebastian's personality isn't as weak as Liam's was, but he still suffers from unresolved trauma. Theodore will no doubt try to use his new abilities to break Sebastian down. I just hope that he's strong enough to resist. New stuff in the vending machines? Yes. The fuck is that? Oh, I can't aim with the scope. I think that's like a head upside down or something. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm gonna head inside my room, look at the slide, and probably do some upgrades. You around, Kidman? For you? Always. Stem. This is twice now it's failed. A machine that puts you inside other people's heads? Who decided it was something anyone needed? I don't want to know what's in another person's head. I learned that the last time. Ruvik developed it for its own twisted reasons. But Mobius saw potential in the technology. Potential to enslave everybody, you mean? Better than having it in the hands of a psycho. I don't know about that. Don't tell me you buy into that whole unifying mankind thing. Who knows what Ruvik would have done if you hadn't stopped him. Ruvik or Mobius. Either way, nobody should have their hands on this technology. It's too powerful. And power tends to get abused. Thank you. Alright, we got some serious weapon parts. 840. God, oh my god, the last one's 1200. Christ. Oh, I've only got one high-grade weapon part. I'm I'm kind of inclined to go for the assault rifle. Just, the only thing is I don't know if I'll find ammo for it. I haven't found, like, any ammo. If they don't give me ammo, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to craft. It's just that if I get a decent amount of ammo for this thing, it has the potential to be extraordinarily powerful. Because it shoots extremely fast, and my bullet cascade will just increase the damage with every shot. So that's why I'm really inclined to do this for boss fights and stuff. But at the moment, I could only get the next level. Could go 10% in damage. 
So, I don't know. But if I don't upgrade that, I guess I upgrade... The shotgun by another 5%. Hopefully per pellet. Or... The pistol by 10%. I'm gonna bank on the assault rifle and hope I get ammo for it. Or hope I get enough gunpowder to craft a decent amount for it. Okay, so it looks like there's two useful things I can get at this point. One's in health and one's in combat. Or... No, sorry. One's in athleticism and one's in combat. There's... Yeah, there's nothing good in health. Just this vitality thing. Which doesn't seem too useful. So in athleticism, we can get a couple levels of reflexes, which give you a chance to avoid attacks. A chance to have a chance to avoid attacks. Probably a quick time event you have to press to avoid them. First level is 20%, next level is 30%. I could get... No, I can't get both. I don't have the red gel for it. So I could do that. I can also just go through combat stuff. So I can get greatly reduced reticle sway when firing weapons. And also push back. Gain the ability to kick stunned enemies away from you. Cannot be used on certain types of enemies. I don't know how useful that would be. Because I'm not sure what counts as a stunned enemy. And I don't know what types of enemies it can be used on. But maybe it'll be good. Um, I'm just going to get them. I'll, I'll get... Push back. We'll see how good it is. F to kick when the icon is displayed. When certain enemies are staggered, a push kick can send them sprawling. An icon will indicate when a push kick can be performed. Okay. And hopefully once they're on the ground, you can stomp them? We'll see. And then I guess I'll get this. Later on, if I ever get 75,000 and another red gel, I can get synaptic focus and get quick time. Unless... Well, I also could just afford the first level of reflexes. Eh, I'm gonna do that. Automatically evade enemy attacks with a set probability. Oh. So it sounds like it's not a quick time type thing. I guess it just automatically avoids them. Okay. Because that's relatively cheap. Compared to the 75,000 of the combat focus thing. That's like nothing. Oh yeah, we need to do some crafting. I really do not have much gunpowder. Well, let's make some bolts. Those don't take up too much gunpowder. Because I'll just make as many as I can. At least for the ones I care about. Which is pretty much just that. Explosive and Harpoon is maxed at the moment. Those are the ones that do damage. Freeze Bolt doesn't really do damage, but, you know, stuns them and buys you some time. I've got three Shock Bolts. That's fine. Let's make ammo. What type of ammo? The handgun? Alright, I'll just make as much handgun as I can. Gunpowder really is shockingly rare. Let's see if there's anything else to talk with her about. Are you ready, Sebastian? No. Not yet. Okay. But don't take too long. Alright, let's explore the rest of this place. <laughs> Again, what's unexplored? This place here, and then I think all of this. And we got three boomers over here. Can't climb over that. sure these spot me because they will explode like if I'm stealth killing one and another one spots me as I've had happen in the past they will run up to me and just explode while I'm stuck in an animation 
assault rifle ammo pouch can hold more of that assault rifle ammo that I never find. timed pounds. Uh. Okay, I'm trying to go gonna try to go for this one. Definitely saw me. Definitely saw me. Okay, though. Fifty, sweet. one I didn't collect. No, I guess I got them all. Seriously scared there's gonna be another one of those bosses. If there was, I don't even think I'd have the ammo to kill one. Doom. 
almost a thousand weapon parts. Secrets? No secrets. I see some breakable crates over here. I think I kind of went in the diner when I was fighting one of the flamethrower people. Oh, I haven't been in the train cars at all. I'm going to properly explore the diner, though. I was kind of running when I was in there before. I don't think I really collected anything. Definitely shouldn't be any enemies in here. Of that, I'm sure. Five gunpowder, yay. You're so stingy with that. Okay, is that everything except for the train car? I think so. Alright, check out the train car. Final shotgun pouch. Oh. 
see the plant there. I'm not sure how to get there safely. Oh, I can't even pass through there. Oh. And it looks like we've come full circle. Back to where we started. Okay, that is definitely it as far as exploration goes. I'm gonna go drink some coffee and do some more crafting and I'll be right back. I guess I'm gonna keep banking on the firepower for the assault rifle. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's see if by the end of the game we can get to 200%. And I'll probably still have no ammo. Now, what about crafting ammo? So, uh, I think to make use of the assault rifle, just to guarantee that I get some use out of it, I think I'll save the gunpowder for the assault rifle. But should be able to craft some more of these. Yep, that doesn't cost any gunpowder. I could do one more explosive bolt, I guess. Nah. Let me just craft as much of this as possible. Okay. Our ammo situation is pretty sorry. Good amount of crossbow stuff, but no handgun, three shotgun, no sniper, ten assault rifle. I'm gonna have to rely on the flamethrower. Well, on that note, I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode. I want to continue on, but I'm sure as soon as I start the whole go through the flame thing that it's going to set off a whole large chain of events that I don't think I want to get into until the next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to go through the flame with this device. <laughs>